Hi guys, welcome to Life University and Advice. And today is my first video, I'm very excited. Um, and I'm gonna be talking about finals and being able to study with them and how to study. As you know, it's the end of the school year and so it's getting to that stressful time again where we have to worry about what to study for, how to study. So I'm gonna kind of be covering some things uh, how to study, how to prepare for them, some snack tips like what to eat during finals week to kind of like stay healthy and also stay alert. Also some really good relaxation tips that could help you when you're starting to feel really, really stressed about what, you know, what's coming up. And then just kind of wrap it up and tell you guys what I do to prepare. And hopefully these tips are really helpful. If you guys find have any other questions or anything else you want to, uh, ask me, leave a comment, or you can even email me at lifeuniversityandadvice at gmail.com. And I do have a Twitter account too that you guys should follow, Life University Advice. Um, but let's just get right in. So usually when it comes to finals, what's really hard is figuring out how to prepare for those finals. What are you going to do? You know, you just had an entire semester worth of information given to you, and most college tests are cumulative. So try and decide how to best step on the right foot to study. And what I like to do is I like to create a system. It's the front burner and the back burner system. I'm sure you guys have heard it, you know, where your most important classes are in the front and your harder classes are like your easier classes that don't need your help, that don't need as much help. Sorry, well, can't talk today. They don't need as much help go in the back. So you don't focus as much time on those and you kind of become a little bit more time efficient. So I kind of figure out which classes I know are worth more uh, semester hours because some could be anywhere from three to four. The more the semester hours, the more important they are to your GPA and your grade. And then I figure out from there which one's probably going to have the most amount of effort for me to take or maybe it's the hardest class for me. And then I kind of create a, a list, um, kind of like, oh, this is all the information I need to know this semester. Or this is what I learned, how am I going to go about studying for it? And sometimes it can be so burdensome to see everything. So what I like to do is create a list so it puts me at ease. Uh, writing things down makes it easier for you to take it in bite-sized pieces versus all at once. And when you get it all at once, you start freaking out and stressing out and be like, I don't know how I'm going to study for all of this information I just learned. So um, what I do is I create a list. So I'm going to kind of show you. This is what the list looks like. Hello. <laughs> and what I kind of do is, you know, I'll look at my, my classes and some teachers will tell you how, how you have to study. So for example, I'm in a class called computer analysis and my teacher pretty much told me that you need to know vocab. Well, I have made note cards for all my class, for all the vocab words and what I really have to do is just constantly review those vocab words. So that's what I put under there. It's computer analysis, vocab. That's a class that is more flexible with my time. I could do it while I'm eating. I could f read through note, you know, go through note cards when I'm eating or before I go to bed or something like that. Something that like doesn't take as much time because you can constantly review it and constantly look through it. Doesn't take as much effort to constantly make time for. One class that does take a lot of time to make for this semester though is accounting because I have to go through an even longer list of things to do. You know, I have to read all my notes from everything, from the beginning to the end. I have to do past review sheets, review past practice exams, review the recent four chapters I just learned because that's like 40% of the test itself, and then do their review packets because each chapter has a review packet and then there's also the practice exam that goes with it. And then I have the final practice exams to take as well. So that class is going to take a lot more of my time and trying to figure out when I'm going to do it. Uh, so that one is not flexible. It's a very strict schedule. I have to kind of keep with that one. May that be uh, three hours on and then take an hour off or something like that. I have to come up with a plan that I'm going to stick to a certain amount of hours studying for that while I could fit computer analysis into anywhere at the beginning, middle, end of my day really simply because it's just going through note cards and knowing the vocab. That's really all it is because once you know the vocab you can base all the information and so on and so forth. 
Um, and then I just have a management class too, and that's just making notes, reviewing, um, yeah, just reading notes constantly. It's just constantly a lot of reading. So again, it's a little bit more flexible. Making the notes isn't not something I'm actually going to do really soon. Um, but you just have to make notes and read for that. So that's a flexible one. Again, I can fit that in anywhere. I could spend an hour just reading notes and that actually makes a difference. And then again, I have another class where I'm just studying notes. So my front burner class this time for finals is going to be my accounting class because it takes more time for me to focus on while my other classes kind of can weave in and out. I can fit them to my time. I could read notes while I'm working out. I could you know, look at vocab when I'm eating or when I'm taking, you know, when I'm about to go to bed because then it stays in my brain better. You know, that's the kind of things you have to start thinking about. So once you kind of create that list of, oh my gosh, I plan out everything I need to know for this test, you can kind of decide, okay, well, this class obviously has more. How am I going to set up my schedule? And that's where a planner is really, really helpful. So you guys should get some planners. And I'll kind of show you how I set up a planner. Um, I haven't really come up with my final schedule yet because I still have a week of school and then it's finals week, but I do study about two weeks prior to finals just because the tests are so important and it does actually take over a week to prepare for a final, naturally. Um, I don't know all those people that can just go out all the time, so. This is kind of how I set it up. I, I do color-coded post-its. Best things ever. So I'll kind of have like the weekend set up and usually I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to give about three hours to two and a half hours to accounting in the morning. And then I'm going to give myself a break because three hours of studying is a lot of studying. So I'm going to do three hours of studying and accounting, take an hour break, and then I'm going to go to something like computer analysis. Oh, it's only going to take an hour, you know, not too much time. And then I'll probably give myself a half an hour because I only took an hour of studying. And then I'm going to do something like management. That's going to be about an hour and a half to an hour study. And then another half hour break. And then I'm going to do some ethics review. And by that time of the day, I'm usually I'm going to be done around 6 o'clock, around 7 o'clock, which is a great time. So then I can probably spend about three hours going on Netflix, watching Hulu, watching movies, doing things like that, things that are a little bit more relaxing. And then before I go to bed, I can review you know, ethics, or read my counting notes, or read similar notes, things that are flexible, like note reading, which you can put at the end or the beginning of any day. It's when you start taking the practice test that starts getting really important that you figure out what you're going to do with your time. So once you do that, um, it's kind of easier to see how your schedules are going to set up, and once you get used to a routine, you can usually actually just do the routine every day. So, but this is actually what my finals week kind of starts to look like, and that's when, you know, you don't have, I have three final days in a row. I have two finals on a Wednesday, one final on a Thursday, and one final on a Friday. <laughs> I don't like having finals on Fridays. Makes me feel sad. Um, but pretty much here, you know, I, I can see that I'm going to have these days blacked out. I like to black out my times. I'm not sure when this final is. Doesn't really matter. Like, it'll matter when it gets to it, but it doesn't matter right now. Uh, and then, as you can see at the beginning of the day, I did the same thing I did before, color-coded my times, and then made little notes like, oh, you can read this before you go to bed, or you can look at that before you go to bed. These are great planners. This is a, a day runner I got at Staples. They're great because it gives you, like, time sectors in them. You guys can see that. It kind of reminds me of a hair appointment book. Like... You ever see them, like, they have, like, this time set out, and they, like, literally cut out, like, a whole entire circle of time? That's what it kind of gives you, and it's easier to see, like, your entire day, like, when you wake up. Uh, during finals week, I get up earlier than I would if it was a weekend, because I like to sleep, but not during finals week. No time for sleeping. So, you know, when you're studying and, and you're trying to figure out what food to eat, a lot of people will go towards the junk food, and I don't recommend junk food for finals week because it actually runs you down because it takes more energy for your body to burn fats and such you know saturated fats sugars so you kind of want to stick to things that are a little bit more organic something that's healthier for you not as heavy in calories not as how you know heavy heavy in fats so your body can kind of stay alert it actually gives you energy so this is where you have to start looking towards your grains your proteins your fibers 
those are the kind of things you want to eat during finals week and when studying for finals because then that way you can be alert also drinking coffee <laughs> Um, but I'm going to kind of show you kind of some stuff that I like to buy for finals week um, and like to munch on. Uh, one thing, actually, these are new. They're called Real Medleys. They're by Quaker Oats. I love oatmeal. If you don't like oatmeal, I can kind of understand. I'm a big grain eater, so I like granola and I like oatmeal and all that kind of stuff. These are really cool. You can just put some water in it in the microwave, heat it up to like... Two, three minutes, something like that. Forty-five seconds, and uh, and then you have like some really healthy meal, like some healthy meals. This is peach and uh, almond oat, and then I got another one like cherry pistachio, pistachio oatmeal, and they were two for three at Target. So yeah, they're not a normal oatmeal size, but these are bigger than the oatmeal packets. So it's kind of almost like a little mini meal. Like it, it it's meant to be like breakfast, but I eat breakfast during the day. So, but it, it's good because it'll keep, it, it gives you healthy sugars, light sugars, and it also gives you grains. So that's really good for you. Also, one of my favorite things are these, they're called fruit crisps. And they're like freeze-dried fruit snacks. They're awesome. Here, I'll show you. That's what they look like. Um, this is apple. They come in all different kinds. So you can get like peach, you can get pear. Fiji apple. I actually get these in really big packs at Costco. Uh, I don't know where else you can get them. I think you can get them really anywhere. A lot of health food stores would obviously carry them. Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, things like that would carry a lot of these because they're all natural and they're only like 39 calories and they're really good and it gives you like a, an entire apple in dried apples. So that's good for you. I mean, it's, it's kind of like keeping fresh, pro like having some type of produce natural versus having you know it go rotten or something I don't know but these are great they're really yummy they're like chips so if you like chips you'll like these I promise you all my friends are like I don't know they're kind of gross and they eat them they're like these are fantastic where can I buy more so I definitely recommend these they're really good another thing is for like your chocolate cravings I just got an actually I got this from the commercial, the Special K Chocolate Delight thing. These are like, I mean, it's cereal, but it's got chocolate in it. And so it's kind of like a, a better chocolate. I mean, it's got this fiber, whole grain again, you know, really good things for you. And you get, you know, it's, it's sweet and it tastes good. I'm probably going to buy more of this. My friends drive me to Walmart, and I'm going to go buy more of this. Because <laughs> uh, it's really good, and it's it's not bad for you. It's not high in calorie, but, you know, you can get some nice almond milk to go with it, or even um, coconut milk. I know that if, if you guys are ready to try coconut milk, you really should. It's so good, and it's, like, only 80 calories per, per cup, and it gives you, like, twice as much calcium than a cup of milk does. Like... It's, it's good stuff, so I recommend it. And this makes it sweet. It's almost like a dessert. So if you like have like a late night, oh, I need candy type of crunch, like feeling, this is really, really good and it satisfies it really, really well. So Special K, Chocolate Delight, totally recommend it. Next, I would, I got these. I haven't tried them yet. They're called, they're, they're by Archer Farms. I like to go to Target a lot. Uh, and it's pumpkin spice low fat latte. It's only 100 calories. And it's, again, a sugary drink, but it's made with skim milk, so it's not as bad. This is my this is my treat. I wouldn't have I wouldn't drink it if it wasn't under 100 calories, or 100 calories and under. Very, it's supposed to you know I like pumpkin spice stuff, but they they have all different kinds of flavors. You can get these at Target, obviously, and you actually get more of this, and it tastes. Um, I've had the vanilla ones by Archer Farms. It tastes exactly like Starbucks frappes and frappuccinos or whatever and you get more for your money it, they're even cheaper too so you get more liquid and more drink for your money better pricing then i also got like some teddy grams i love teddy grams i love graham crackers so these these are really like this is another treat thing you know you can put one of these in your bag like the chocolate ones or something or those are like cinnamon you can, like, take these, put these in your bag right before you take, a, like, a final, like, I'll have a final later or something, 
and you can eat them right before you have a final so you can get like that surge of sugar rush so then when you're taking the final you're more alert these are great to have for that that's the kind of thing you want candy for like I even got uh, these like little candy packets like the Swedish fish that are like a dollar from Walgreens or Walmart um, Whoppers and like Mike and Ike's and uh, Junior Mints things like that I also get two a few of those and I'll eat those or something or I'll stick them in my bag before I take my final and I'll eat some because I'll get some sugar during it like that's something I really recommend having some sugar for that reason not just a snack on it and then also I recommend you know of course Nutri-Grain bars good little healthy s snack I mean it's made with real fruit and it's a whole grain meal pretty good I just like them I think they taste good and then I also recommend goldfish and pretzels too. I also bought, bought a bag of pretzels because when I'm studying, I notice that like I focus better when I like eat and study at the same time. So I don't want to eat something that's like really, really bad for me. So, yeah, these aren't great for you, but it's better than eating chips or combos or something. So it's so much higher in calories. So this is kind of better. And these are whole grain too. So they taste just as good as the non whole grain ones. I don't know why everyone doesn't eat whole grain. You can't even taste the difference. These are really great though. And then um, for coffee and teas, I drink a lot of coffee. Oh, I got tea. What happened to it? Oh, okay, found it. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I like to drink a lot of coffee and tea when I'm also studying because drinking and eating like something while I'm, while I'm studying like is, helps me. I don't know why. So I got some fun things. Usually I get like something like I have a coffee maker so I'll usually get like my regular coffee that I have every morning and that may be like Seattle's best or something uh, and but I got these these are really cool they're only like a dollar and they're from uh, Archer Farms and I just got mini ones like I got a mini hazelnut and a mini um, French vanilla you know and this you know this makes a full like 10 to 12 cups and I have a four cup coffee maker so you know, I can actually use these a couple of times. I could use this these three times, you know, total. Like I could get, you know, six pots of coffee out of these together. And that's a pretty good deal in my opinion. And, and they taste good as something different because usually I get like non-flavored coffee, just natural coffee beans. Um, so then I can add my own flavors, but I also have a lot of creamer. So I can kind of add something to these. They're really good. Yes, this smell really good. I put this in coffee. <laughs> So these also smell awesome. But also, another thing I recommend, like for coffee on the go, um, where I go to school, there's hot water everywhere. Like there's so much tea everywhere. So usually you can just fill up like your little mug of, with hot water. And so I recommend is getting these by Starbucks, the little packets. They taste really good actually. Um, and they're not, you know, you would think because it's instant coffee, and I don't like, I don't, I'm not in love with instant coffee. You would think that it would taste really bad. You know, you're like, I don't know, will it taste as fresh as my cup of coffee? But actually, these taste really good. I got a free one once, so I tried it. I got the blonde one. Sometimes when Starbucks goes really dark, it gets too bitter for me, and I don't enjoy their coffee anymore. So I decided to try this new blonde one. We'll see how it turns out. I'll let you guys know if I like it or not. But I figured, like, if I'm studying at the library or something, I don't want to pay for coffee. I have these. Or if I don't have time to make coffee, I can just heat up water and stick these in. That's easy. Um, and so then I also got some t tea. I got this new one, Chai Green. I love tea. So I have all these really fun teas. Like, I have vanilla chai. I have coconut chai. Um, and so this one is green tea chai. And it looks really good, actually. Look at that. Oh, look good. It's my stash. You can get it at Target. There's 20 bags. You can make a lot of tea with this. <laughs> um, tea is good at night. Coffee is good for during the day. I mean, because you can't sleep if you drink caffeine. But I've pretty much become caffeine immune. It's bad. But it's okay. I'm in college. I'm a college student. We're supposed to drink coffee. <laughs> um... So those are kind of just some snack ideas that you can get. Like I said, I really recommend that you stick to things that are healthier. I even have like string cheese. Um, 
you know, some dairy products. I don't try to carry a whole lot of dairy products, but I do have some. Uh, and just kind of like, I even have juice and I have coconut um, water and things like that to kind of help you because uh, it helps me with their focus. So those are the kind of things I recommend. Uh, but now I'm going to kind of get to steer away from snacks. I'm going to kind of tell you guys how to relax because not only are you studying for days on end, you're going to be exhausted. And it's like, it's a hard exhausted to explain because it's, you're not really tired. You're worn down. You know, you're, you're being tested. And I, and I have always said that college tests are built for you to fail. They're built for you to not do perfectly because they want to see your limitations. They want to see how far they can push you and see how well you can stick to their curriculum. And trust me, you're not, you're not going to remember everything. You're not. It's impossible to remember every single thing. It's very difficult to do. You don't know what's going to be on that test. You have no idea. You didn't write it. So you have to, you have to take a break sometimes and you have to realize, listen, I did all I could. I, I studied every day for hours. I did my job as a student and what I get is what I get, but I know I did my best. And that's really honestly, it really honestly is what matters is how hard you put your effort in because your effort, in my opinion, I've always believed pays off in the end. So just study, work hard, you'll be fine. Uh, but how are you gonna, how are you gonna relax? Well, one of the top things to do obviously is work out. And I was like, oh, work out. I love working out, I work out every day. Um, I love to run the elliptical and do the stair mill and walk the track or tread. And then I also do some weightlifting and things like that. Uh, but working out helps so much. Like during the process, I'm always like, oh, God, I'm so tired. But afterwards, I feel so much more energy actually. Sometimes I like to work out in the morning. During finals week, I'll probably work out about 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. and then I'll start studying or 7.30 to 9, something like that. I'll work out and I'll give myself at least an hour, an hour and a half to work out because I actually become more focused after working out because you have all that adrenaline, all those endorphins pumping and you feel really, really good. Not only that, you just did a crud load of work that day so you can eat. Think about it that way. So it's really worth it to work out. Plus, when you're working out, your mind just kind of goes to a different place because you have to start, th you think about all these different things and you stop focusing on finals for one day, you know, for a little bit at least, not one day. I don't know why I said that. For like an hour and a half. <laughs> you can just kind of relax, enjoy your time. Also, I recommend seeing your friends. <sighs> your friends are helpful, like just seeing your friends, being with your friends for like a good hour or something or going to eat with them and like, hey, who wants to go eat at some local restaurant? You know, spending time with your friends too and laughing is really helpful. So I recommend that you see your friends, ask them how they're studying, ask them how they're doing and, and do it that way. That's really helpful. So I definitely recommend seeing your friends. Uh, maybe, you know, and also, like I said, you know, I study for th my capability of studying is a certain amount of time. Some people can sit down and study for six hours straight and focus on a six hours straight. I don't work that way. I can do three hours max. And if I do three hours, I have to take an hour off. Because after three hours, my brain's not taking in any more information. It's done. It's like, hey, listen, you did three hours of reading, you did three hours of studying, you're done. So what I like to do is go for three hours and then I'll take an hour off and kind of do something like watch Hulu, surf the internet, uh, watch a movie, watch part of a movie. And not only that, when I watch part of a movie, then I feel more intrigued later to like study. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm seriously only giving myself an hour. And I'm, and I'm able to have the willpower to give myself an hour to watch the movie. But then I have to go back to studying and I'm like, you know, if you study for like a whole hour and a half, you get to watch the rest of the movie, so you should study for the rest of the hour and a half. It's kind of like a motivation thing sometimes. Or even with like a series, like I get into series, like um, one, one, finals year, one final semester I got into Heroes. <laughs> I never saw it and I was like, what is this show? 
And so I started watching. I'm like, actually, this is kind of good. So I got into it, and now I watch Hero. I watched Heroes. So three hours on, watch an episode of Heroes. Oh my gosh, something cool it ha just happened at the end. What's gonna happen next? You know, study for another hour and a half, and then watch the other hour of it. Watch the next episode. You know, it's kind of a motivator to keep you going. Kind of just adds a little bit of something. You know, if you kind of start like tricking your mind and like doing that kind of thing, making giving yourself a reward system, something I learned in management. You know, you have to put the effort first, but then you can give yourself a reward as long as you don't overindulge in your rewards. Rewards, uh, you'll be fine. So I definitely recommend awarding yourself after that long day of studying. Uh, then also taking naps. I'm an advocate for naps. If you get tired and you can't focus anymore, well, just take a nap. Helps. If you're a girl, go get your nails done. Go get a pedicure. Go get get face masks. My favorite thing to do is to take like work out, take a shower, and then put on a face mask and do my nails and watch my favorite TV show. That is so relaxing and it's so nice. So I definitely recommend doing that. Uh, so if you like just relaxed like that and had a great time, um, you know, it's just important that you give yourself some time to, to enjoy, enjoy what you're doing because when you start getting stressed and when you start focusing too much, you do get sick. Um, and you, you might not be like, yeah, yeah, I'm not that kind of person. I don't get sick. Or you might get really fatigued. And that when it comes to the actual test day, you just vomit because you can't focus anymore. And, and that's bad. That really is. And you don't want to feel like, oh, I did all the studying and I, I crapped out. Definitely definitely take your breaks and I know some people I know a lot of people it's not some people pretty much every kid here that I go to school with they they cram out all their information in on the day of the test they study on the day of the test keep on studying until they get up into the test they are studying I don't recommend that I will never recommend that you know sure review review for two hours or review for an hour go over the things that you knew you had trouble with when it came to studying, after doing all the studying, the things that just never ever clicked. Yeah, look at those, study that information, review it, but not for five hours before your test and then go take it. Give yourself, let yourself relax, let yourself take a nap. And by that day, you should be like, I studied all I can study and I'm done. You should have studied for a week prior and just enjoy it. Like. Seriously, trust me, relaxing is the best thing to do. I always relax before my finals. I will, you know, review for a little bit, and then about, I will always say, there's like, the two hours before that final is my time. Um, maybe I'll go eat and watch a movie, or go get my nails done, or something, or I'll schedule it so that I'm not stressed. Because I don't want to be stressed. I want to enjoy my day. You know? I'm already going to be taking two in one day. I'm going to be taking a computer analysis test, and then I have an ethics test at like eight, eight o'clock at night till ten o'clock. That's that's a lot. That's late at night. Like I want to be able to be rested. I might take a nap that day. I guarantee you, I'll take a nap that day. You know, and just kind of relax because then the next morning I have another test at ten a.m. You know, it. You have to relax. You have to let yourself kind of just go into it and be easy about it and I know you might not see your friends all day and I know that you might want to go out and party the weekend that weekend or party Thursday night your partying is done it's done until finals and, and I always say there's time for work and play but this is the time to work and then you can play during the summer or right after finals you can go party I mean I'm not blind people go out and <laughs> I and go out right after their finals and and enjoy themselves and I and I totally recommend it. You know, relieve that stress that you've had, you know, and just breathe and get that weight off your shoulder. But but it's not it's not before the f test. So make sure you focus your time. Um, you know, one thing I forgot to show you guys though, when studying for finals, I, I, it's really cool actually. It's cool to me. Uh, it's I created. This is my final box. And it's all my past tests. 
all my past practice exams, all the past things I've learned, and it's all in this wonderful little filing thing. You can get this at Target for like $11. But, you know, this is like for accounting, for example. I'll show you one if I can get it at home. Crazy, crazy. Um, this is one test of information. This is my first test. So this is all accounting. So like, I put each accounting one, like, I have the first test, the second test, and then I'll be everything I need to know for the final, and then that's all together. So now I don't have to worry about losing it, because you can lose papers so easily, and I hate losing papers. I just got this, actually, like, a few days ago, and I love it, after I reorganized it. And then the same for, like, management. I put my, like, notes that I made, because I make my own notes for everything. Uh, like, it's in this, all in this. So now I won't lose it. You know, it's fantastic. Because you have all these, because you have all these papers, um, you kind of lose track of everything. You can lose track really easily. And I'm known for misplacing papers. I'm really well known for mis uh, misplacing papers. And then I have to like reprint everything. And I get aggravated. So, because I'm wasting paper, I'm wasting ink. I can't believe I just lost those papers. Or I could lose a test. It was really helpful. So just put it all in one spot. Like this is my first test information. It's all going in there. And you can keep this for the entire semester and then clean it out at the end, you know? And it keeps all your papers together so you don't lose it. So I recommend some form of filing for your finals. I mean, I have a bunch of file drawers in this room, but this is my finals file holder. This is all the information I have to know. After making my list, I discovered everything I had to know and I put it in here. Extremely helpful. You can get it at Target. But that's, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that, I'm sorry, I have to say something now. I hope that it's helpful. I hope that you can kind of see some ideas that you can use. I know it's kind of a long video. I'm long-winded. <laughs> I can talk about a lot of things. Um, but that's just a way to study. Um, when I was in, starting out, you know, my first year, I tried to find ways to study and yes this has become a perfected practice over time it's still not perfect yet and I'm still working on ways to study that are more f effective for me and I'll let you know if I get anything new ideas but it's 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 you know it's your finals are important uh, I lost track of what I was gonna say oh but anyway I really hope this is all really helpful and if you have any more comments or questions just Put them down at the bottom there and also um, I will also put a link like I said life university advice at gmail.com or life university advice at Twitter it's l-i-f-e-u-n-i-v-a-d-i-v-a-d-v-i-c-e uh, I can spell advice right <laughs> so you can find me at Twitter I'll post some things about how I'm studying and how it's going so you guys can keep up to date with me and I'll be like, oh, look what I just studied. Or so we can kind of do it together. You know, you tweet at me, I'll tweet at you. And uh, we can kind of just talk about studying. So leave messages and subscribe, please. I hope this information was really helpful and have an awesome day. <laughs>